Okay, Paul. Um, so uh, I, I'm just going to show you this one. I just kind of was, you know, as I was looking at this, I'm sort of dancing around, not doing this one. But let me just let me just show you this. Get this, you know, out of out of my system, and just to make sh just so that you're aware of this. Um, I created a new drawing um, and uh, I referenced. Let's see where I got this uh, this referenced here. Okay, so. Um, you can, you know, we, I, I've been going through, and I think my philosophy on this, which I kind of showed you in the past couple of videos, is to just do them strategic, you know, identify them strategically, and then build from that. But if you really wanted to, you could just bring all this in, like all of this, and then make it intelligent and clean up some things and, you know, delete this and then, you know, complex this and then, you know, what you didn't want, if you wanted to go parallel from here, then you could, you know, delete these and then create the offset. So you can, you know, just just bring it all in and then, you know, mop it up from there. So, you know, I'll just show you how to do that, uh, whether you choose to go that route or not. I mean, uh, it's it's not a complicated route, you know, so you just uh, I'm, I'm in a blank drawing. I have this, you know, reference. There's nothing in here. Um, I'm just going to go, oops, okay, so I want to, <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to go use the, the select tool. I'm going to, you know, select all these graphics. Uh, there. Snaps are on, that's on, okay, and let's do that. see what am I doing oh what did I do go oh, I think I clicked this thing on tool tree yep I didn't, didn't want to do that it was a mistake okay okay now uh, so we could you could select the geometry that you you know want to bring in um, Again, go to the copy, you know, copy it all, DL equals zero. Turn the display off. Okay, so now <clears throat> we've got all, all the graphics in there. Uh, select them all and using the same tool, you know, create civil rule features. Uh, I'm going to just call it... Uh, Got a feature definition here, uh, C road temp, uh, because little by little, then you'll have to assign the correct feature definition. Um, so just call it, you know, temp, and it'll call it temp one two three four, and on and on. Uh, it has 187 selected elements, a data point to create several features from all of those. Uh, data point, it uh, processes, thinks, thinks, thinks. And it's creating civil geometry for all of that stuff. And then you just have to go and do a little cleanup. Again, you got to figure out what's the, the quickest route for you, the fast, you know, the one that makes the most sense, the one that's most efficient. Okay, so these are all now geometry, civil geometry, all this stuff. Even the, the, the smallest little, you know, return, you know. But realize that this this fillet is not connected, ruled to this tangent and this tangent. So if I go in here and you know and change this to, you know, 0.5. Oops. Yeah, it's it's not. I don't know what happened there. Uh, but it's it's not um, it's not ruled to these tangent elements. So again, what I'd be doing is I'd go and delete this thing and replace this, you know, at one between here and here to rule it there. But all this stuff is now civil geometry. You know, every single thing in here, it's all civil geometry. What you had chained together is now, you know, an alignment. Um, what, what, what were just pieces uh, graphically are just pieces of geometry. And then would have to be, you know, uh, using the complex by element, you'd have to select, you know, the, the chain that you wanted to complex. Like all of these things, you know, this is just a, you know, a piece and a piece and a piece, 
you know, you would just go create complex geometry, you know, and then here you'd say, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this in here. And it's actually a, uh, road, uh, back curb. And, um, you know, it's got all the pieces in there. So you just have to, you know, you give it some sort of name, you do it automatic, you give it kind of a, you know, hover over, give it a direction. This and accept, and that is now a piece of you know com completed geometry. So you could just bring everything and suck everything into as a civil object, and then go ahead from there, go ahead and just make it intelligent by you know complexing it together, giving it a, a feature definition, and um. But again, I still think that you, you know, ideally in moving this thing forward, you want some sort of rules. You want this based off of this or this based off of this. Somehow something, something's got to be the parent. But uh, you can just, you know, bring all of this 2D. It's all 2D and all we've been working with is 2D. You know, they don't know if you have any verticals assigned to this, but we haven't, we haven't done that yet. Uh, once you have the terrain, then, you know, you just, you would, you know, right click on this thing here, uh, hover over for the, the fly out. And then create a profile window and up another view, create the profile. If you had a terrain, you would see the ground on there and you lay the vertical out. So. Uh, again, that's just another option. Suck everything into open roads and then go ahead and do your mop up in here. Uh, again, I think uh, my recommendation would be because this is a long term project, you're not just trying to, you know, hammer and pound and shove the square peg into a round hole. Um, you're trying to be more strategic and use open roads uh, more intelligently. I would uh, spend the time, you know, you could probably do it in a day. If you sat down and threw your logic together on what really tied into what, what really drove what, which you've probably done already because you, and you probably know some of that already because you've laid this out in MicroStation. So use the same kind of logic and you would just do it in the open, in open roads, bring in the ones that um, are the parents and then use the tools. And it's primarily this single offset or the offset partial, or if something is laid out station offset, you know, from one of the alignments, then I would be using the uh, civil AccuDraw. And in the civil AccuDraw, there's uh, the option to uh, lay something out. Come on. I hate it when that doesn't pop up. Yeah, there's an option in here to do station offset if it uh, ever pops up. So there would be an op option to do station offset so that you could lay things out if the, you had to control them station offset wise. Okay, so again, that's just another option.